Some big experience names, but reputation will only get you so far. It's all about getting the scores done. Let's sit, set this one up. We'll see this guy here, Kaulivast, the Frenchman out of Tahiti on the backhand. And already a decent start for him. He's taken on three Americans in the form of Chloe Andino, Nat Young and Cole Hauschman. We had like those incredible years, like you mentioned, a little bit of a break. And then now I feel like South Africans are coming in hot. Kaulivast here on a left. He's going a million miles an hour. And does real well with the technical section. Just taps that. And a little bit of a stare down back towards the tower as well. Quick hit backside. Meanwhile, Nat Young. So good in the powerful rights. That's why. Yeah. And belts it really hard. The whip in that. Just took him off his board. He almost landed a bit quicker than we kind of expected him to. Well, this was during the break. Cole Hausman uh, got a 7.0. Lovely little fin blast to start things off. Goes over the bums. Big bottom turn. Absolutely laid into that second section. So two very critical. So he just looks to be just completely picking up. Last time we saw him in his last seat, it's not really changed anything at all. It's a winning formula. It's working all right so far. Picking up live action of Nat Young, who heaves a little bit of a raspberry of relief on the end of that way. The replay now. Well, Nat took off on this one. You can just see him loading up that bottom turn. Wow, that was a really nice first turn. Doing really well to get. I like the first turn and. Hopefully he can, yeah, and he does. Yeah, I think it... Um, what Chloe Andino is able to do here. Well, brother finding a nice looking bowl here. Starts off with a little hack off the top. Now waiting for the inside section and also doing really well. Yeah, and uh, I mean, we all know how good he is, but uh, sometimes you just, things just don't go your way and uh, you've just got to reset as we see uh, Cole, uh, he, he's got no need for resets, this guy. He's surfing so good. Holschman belting it there. Couple, again, of really strong from the bottom into the top. So the amplitude in the turn is vertical. Judges have stressed that. Let's get another look here at Cole's wave. Well, just love how this guy comes off of the bottom on the back end and just really drives that turn, just destroying the lip in the process and then straight up vertical in the pocket again. And he was like, I think I've done an 8-3-3 to go to first, though. So the, the man of the moment is definitely Cole. Here goes Nat Young. Late entry for him after a concerted paddle effort and a whippy turn. Bang! Releases the tail and gets the energy going again down the line. Solid from Nat Young, as you'd expect. His backup score's gone. His high score's a 5. Let's see how he goes to attacking that. As we see live action here. Gauli Vast. Swinging on a right-hander, opens up with a swoop. It's not a huge point score and maneuver. Deep bottom turn, vertical stab, and does it pretty well. So it wasn't quite as rapid as some of those really big, emphatic finishing hits. No, we're still waiting for that score. But watch this. He takes off, just waits for it off the bottom. Nice little power drive into the pocket. And now starting to look for that big lip line. Throws it up. Really good second turn. Cowley Vast right now. He looks like he's seen a left here. Big lump coming at him. And he pulls in, drags the arm. Nice coverage for Cowley Vast. And he'll just do that all day long. Loves a hollow left. No surprise, a man from Tahiti. And he's getting barreled. Yeah, it looks like he's back in Tahiti. Um, we've actually seen a couple. Some action down the water, guys. Drift. Holds it for some time up into the close out. Is there some right? And he just goes from strength to strength in this one. Smashed out a couple of sevens. Did a run around, have a little swig of rehydration from his crew as he was jogging around. Look at this guy, though. He is a man on fire. Lively bottom turn. Just absolutely drifts the fins off the back of that first turn. Then just had to really fight through two different directions of white. The kind of burden of pressure. He looks pretty happy with life right now. And Dino needs to get going here projection move out the back deals with some chatter he's got some speed built up and a big hit out of the lip as well on a troublesome section get some nice release and that's exactly the wave he needed he's been too quiet in this just ridden a single way that it's going to count for him of course it's going to feel a lot better as well when the score comes in and you feel like he's got loads loads more where that came from here goes nat young he needs a number right now he's looking for a six seven one just floats with loads of speed so much spring in his step as he comes out of that maneuver with a ton of speed oh. and then goes up into try and float the lip line on a, on a lip which is already kind of cascading down towards him. Look, 
Well, he cruised into this thing going absolutely Mach 1 on the backhand. A little float over the section was nice. Nothing major, though. Had to tap it through. And then this section just goes mutant. And I've got to say, that was uh, an IG clip-worthy attempt at going for that. Just kind of release a little bit in terms of that? Absolutely not. He looks fire here in Belito. Yeah, and like I said, he's he started the year off with an absolute cracker. Uh, got the wild card to go surf against the best at Kelly's Wave Pool. So he's having a great year, and it looks like he's going to continue.